good morning, it's Monday and uh, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work out, the sound and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's the first time I've done it while we've been moving, uh, obviously I tried it on Friday there and uh, the sound was okay, the rattling was away, but now that we're actually moving we'll see what the, the sound's like, see if you can hear me okay, I might have to change position again, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, that's it, it's Monday, it's uh, been quite a chilled weekend, just spent time with the family and stuff. And then this morning, um, heading to the lab, there are quite a few orders that I need to get done. Uh, there's some logistics stuff I need to work out for things later in this year. Um, I'm, well, I need to upload the uh, Roscoe's uh, podcast as well and upload that to the YouTube channel. Uh, Roscoe was on the broadcast last week, so uh, I need to get that episode on YouTube. Uh, also, I was thinking about writing another blog post today. We'll see though, we'll see how time goes. I need to edit more photos as well. Um, so yeah, plenty to do. Plenty to do. Um, so that's going to be it really. Nothing, uh, <laughs> nothing major to report over the weekend. Just uh, <coughs> this week, I've got the Tuesday night check-in uh, tomorrow night with the Brotherhood. And then we'll have a broadcast on Thursday as well. Um, we still wait to finalise the guest, uh, but we've got a few lined up, so uh, we'll see who it is. I'll know more, I guess, on Wednesday when I'm doing this on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, I'm going to scoot just now, get to the lab. Hopefully this audio is okay. If not, I'll think of something else. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit. Alright, that's a broadcast episode with Roscoe McClellan and Billy Kirkwood uploaded to YouTube now. It's the first one of 2021, uh, so it's there now if you want to go and check it out. Let me know what you think. It's also on the broadcast Spotify channel as well, if you want to click in there and then scroll to the top. There you go, Roscoe McClellan episode there. As I said, we're no longer doing seasons, so it's just episode 38. But it's actually episode 46, if you add on the, the first eight that i done, uh, which are down the bottom there. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a lot of guests, a lot of episodes if you want to check them out. But as I say, the newest one is on Spotify now. So this morning in the blog section of the website, I have written a new blog post, when to use beard oil and bam, it's just kind of covering... Uh, Basically two questions, uh, when on a beard journey do I start using these products and then also when throughout my day should I use these. So this is an article uh, kind of written there just explaining when to use beard oil and beard balm. Alright, so if you've been with the vlog for a long time, you know that in the van I used to have a, a Lego character, just a, a wee Lego figure, on the dashboard. Uh, I would change it every month or so. Um, the the way the new van dashboard sits isn't ideal for Lego. It just kind of gets lost. There's a few more uh, like compartments and stuff. So anyway, they give me the idea to change it up slightly. Have a wee mascot in the van. So, I'd like to introduce you to... Chewbacca <laughs> fits the brand nicely, hairy as fuck. So, yeah, this we do. I'm going to try and get on the dashboard. It does mean taking him out of his box, which I know um, a lot of pop vinyl fans won't be too happy with that. Uh, I do have, I do collect. Well, I don't. I don't really collect pop vinyls. I pick up ones that I think are cool, um, and I keep them in their box. But this one is coming out because he's going to end up on the dashboard. I hope. He has a bubble head, so I'm wondering if it's going to rattle, if his head kind of makes a knocking noise. I've just managed to get rid of the fucking knocking in the bracket, so I need to see if the knocking is going to happen with this dude. Yes, it knocks. Bollocks. Right, I'll need to try and figure this out, put a wee pad, maybe put a padding in there or something to try and stop him knocking. So uh, here goes. 
Right, seems to be fixed, all done. Stuff it with cardboard. <laughs> there we go, done. New van mask up. I had to uh, fold up the, there's like a mat here. Uh, so I just folded that up and uh, stuck them in there. It should look alright for the outside. Let's take a wee look. <laughs> Spot on. Alright, that is Monday done. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been quite a busy day. There was quite a few orders there. Uh, managed to get out in the post. I picked them up a wee while ago. Uh, got a blog post written and got the broadcast episode, the latest broadcast episode with Roscoe McClellan that is up on YouTube channel now and it's on Spotify as well and other podcast networks. Uh, what else? Got my wee van mascot sorted. Uh, wee Chewie sitting there. And uh, the alarm went off in the van earlier. I said, like, what the fuck? So I nipped out and I couldn't work out what what had happened. I don't know why the alarm went off. The wind's strong here. I thought maybe the wind had set it off. And then I went and put the phone in the phone holder and it turns out the phone holder had fallen off uh, where it was. It had just come loose, fell off and set the alarm off. So uh, I need to see... Uh, I need to try and work out something else for the the camera. Maybe I'll just have to do it stationary like this. Um, but anyway, that's it. Uh, that's Monday done. I'm going to head home now and chill with the family. Uh, I've got a, a week call to take tonight. Uh, and then brotherhood checking tomorrow. And then back in the lab on Wednesday um, to get orders done. So yeah, that is kind of the plan. I um, try to think. Yeah, I'll be working from home tomorrow, but uh, looking after Danny as well. Uh, so maybe get a weird, well, I'm saying a weird adventure. It'll just be a walk along the, the local walks. Uh, there's not much else we can do um, at the moment, I guess. Just go for a walk. That's what we've done last week. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go just now. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the episode so far. And I shall see you tomorrow. Uh, no, I won't. See you on Wednesday. I will get used to this. I will get used to this. My head's pickled, man. I was doing some admin stuff there, so my head's mince. But, uh, yeah, trying to get used to just doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Anyway, I shall see you on Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Good morning. It's, uh, it's Wednesday and it's mega frosty. Uh, the wee guy, Chewy, can't see anything. The windscreen is mega frosty, so I'm sitting waiting on that defrosting. Um, I could get out and scrape it, but the, <laughs> the van's got a heated windscreen, man. I can, no use to this, the last van never had it, so you used to have to sit and, uh, well, scrape it, heat it up and scrape it and stuff, but, technology, so I've got a heated windscreen, so, uh, yeah, uh, anyway, the plan today is get to the lab, there's quite a few orders there, I uh, need to get them done, obviously, that is priority, uh, as always, uh, I want to try and write another blog post today, I have a video to upload to YouTube as well, another tutorial video, oh, you see my breath? <laughs> You can see it coming out in front of me. Uh, it is minus two, the van is saying. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan really, is a blog post, orders and a video. Um, we have a broadcast coming tomorrow night, Thursday. Uh, it's Richard Gibson, who is a powerlifter. He is, he's won and set records in bench press. Um, so he's a bro athlete, he has been, he's been with us for a couple of years. Uh, he is on the broadcast with Billy on Thursday. Uh, so looking forward to that episode, that would be cool. Um, I think that's kind of it, we had the Brotherhood check-in last night as well, and uh, <laughs> every week there's a kind of topic that comes up, it just naturally forms, we don't set it, it just, it's the way the conversation goes, a topic ends up coming out of it, and last night we were talking about Marvel films and Star Wars, and it turns out David Mackey, shout out to David Mackey if he's watching this, he has a large collection of Star Wars helmets, which is fucking mega. Uh, or the X-Wing Pilots, Boba Fett, Darth Vader, all that stuff, man. They're very, very cool. So, yeah. Shout out to David if you're watching this, man. Uh, well jealous of your collection. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the plan today. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to see how it goes. There's a few other things I need to sort out. Uh, just emails and stuff, and that's it. That's it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I want to try and edit some photos as well if I get the time. I've kind of lost track of that recently. Just with... Well, kind of been off over Christmas and been busy, so uh, the priorities have been orders and stuff, so photos have kind of taken a back seat. So I need to get on with them, 
Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to scoot just now and I get to the lab and I'll video what I can and see you there. Catch you in a little bit. See ya. I wanted to stop to show you this view again, man. Honestly, this view is amazing. It's just a wee, wee road I take to get to work and uh, every, well, almost every morning the view's cracking. So there's a van and uh, the sky over there, I don't know if you can see it, it's yellow, blue, purple, orange, it's insane. But check this. How moody does that look? That's awesome. We've got Arthur's seat over there and then we've got the Pentland Hills over there covered in snow. Yeah, it's a nice wee part of the world, this. <laughs> I love it in this area, man. That's just cool. It's half eight in the morning, man, and it's, uh, it's a nice way to start the day. Anyway, need to get to the lab. So I've just uploaded a new video to the YouTube channel, Will Beard Oil Help to Grow a Beard? Uh, it is a question that comes up quite often, so I've stuck it up on the, the YouTube channel as a video. So if you want to check it out, as you can see there, there is uh, subtitles if you need to watch it on silent. Um, but yeah, the video's there. Check it out and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And also in the blog section of the website, I've wrote a new, written, written, uh, <laughs> written a new uh, blog post. Can beard oil be used on hair? It is a question that we get asked. Can it be used on hair? It seems obvious, but I understand where the question comes from because head hair is uh, different in texture and feel to beard hair. So it's explaining beard oil being used on hair, and it's talking about Mrs. Bra's hair oil as well. So if you want to check that out, it's on the, the Broadbeard website just now, under the blog section. That's the new episode of the broadcast on with Roscoe McClelland. That is on the Instagram page just now. It's just at broadcast. Uh, if you don't follow it already, man, give it a follow. Much appreciated. Uh, we put the latest episode up there. And there's so many now. That's 30 of what was season 2. It's now just become... We're just going up in episodes now. We're not going in seasons. Um, Billy has the, the podcast firmly in his hands now. And it's working well, so... Uh, we're just going to stick with episode 38, although if you add them all together it is episode uh, 46 because i done um, I done 8 before, so there was that one uh, before Broad Beard with me and Elaine, that one, that one, that one with Jamie, Dave Easton, Billy Kirkwood, Ali Hay, and then the last one i done was uh, with Lee Johnson, who's going to be a future guest as well, we're going to get him on with... Uh, like Billy at some point, and then there's all these. So yeah, if you want a wee sneak preview of the chat, uh, go to the Instagram page, broadcast, and uh, they're there, the clips are there. Uh, for instance, well, you just get a wee, a wee teaser there, so that's how it works. And then you can get to the the episode, the latest episode, via that link, it'll take you to the YouTube page uh, where they all are. So yeah, check them out, let me know what you think, and uh, enjoy. Alright, that is Wednesday done. Uh, busy day again today, I'm always saying it's a busy day, I realise that's becoming a bit of a strap line, but it is. Uh, it's always busy, it's, uh, it's good, I'm always busy doing something. Um, there was a few orders there earlier. As I said before, they're priority, so they got done and they're away with the posty. Um, what else? I mastered out a blog post as well about using uh, beard oil on hair, as in head hair. Uh, so done that. Uploaded a new video to the YouTube channel as well. 
I managed to edit some photos as well. I uh, said this morning I wanted to try and do that and I managed it, which was good. It's good to get uh, creative as well with the photos. I can't wait to get another photo shoot done, but hell knows when that'll be uh, with the restrictions and stuff. But the restrictions are more important at this stage. So, yeah, so I just kind of editing previous photos and that, um, which is cool. So, yeah, that was them up before this. Um, that's it, really. I'm going to head home now, chill with the family, uh, working from home tomorrow. Um, and then back in the lab on Friday and then edit this vlog, really, that'll be it. Anyway, I'm going to scoot just now. Thanks for your support. I shall see you on Friday. See you later. Good morning. It's Friday and uh, yeah, beard's looking all right today. Just got it tied up at the bottom there. Um, yeah, today I'm using, well, it's a broad beard wash, but anniversary 18 as well. A wee bit um, chocolate orange beard butter to go with that and just comb and brush it through. I'm sitting nice. But anyway, it's Friday, so yeah, the plan today, head to the lab. Uh, I went on the van defrosting again. Uh, it's currently zero degrees on the dashboard there. Uh, so yeah, heading to the lab. Uh, there's orders to get done. I want to try and write another blog post today. I uh, need to upload and edit this vlog and uh, get this online. So yeah, that's kind of priorities today is orders and the vlog really. Um, there's some things I need to sort out. Uh, just usual uh, kind of. Uh, just add many kind of stuff. So I've got a, a call later on at one o'clock to uh, set something up. So that'll be cool. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I think that's kind of it, really. Uh, we had the broadcast last night with Richard Gibson, which is awesome. He's a two times British powerlifting champion. Uh, she, was, she was bench pressing two hundred kilograms, something like that. It's mental. Uh, so yeah, check that out if you haven't already. Uh, if you didn't see it last night, I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you want to check it out. Um, it's a good episode, it was about 35 minutes long. Um, and we're on Apple Podcasts now as well, which is cool. Uh, <laughs> Apple Podcasts rejected uh, the broadcast initially because of all the bad language. Um, but yeah, it was approved Yes, It was approved a couple of days ago, so... Um, yeah, so we're on Apple Podcasts now, so we're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, as you know, um, CastBox, Google Podcasts, a lot, man, <laughs> a lot, so, yeah, wherever you get your podcast, check out the broadcast, and uh, your support is appreciated. Anyway, I'm going to scoot just now, get to the lab, the windscreen's just cleared, so I'm going to head and uh, get started. Thanks for watching, see you in a little bit, see ya. All right, so I managed to get another blog post written today. Uh, things to consider if your beard is sore. It's, it is something that comes up, especially in the winter time. Uh, the beard roots tend to get a bit tender uh, if you're dehydrated and stuff. So it's just an article written on that. It's pretty short, but uh, worth a read if it's something that bothers you. Also, I've got all the links here uh, in the footer for the the blog post. I've got Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and then the podcast here, YouTube, Spotify, Apple and Google. Um, so yeah, that is on the website now if you want to check it out. It is the latest blog post. bench and we stuck okay. it straight in the front room <laughs> and we got some rogue plates we've got the barbell <laughs> we've got literally i mean guys i can show you literally, could you you. I'd like, you're not going to believe this until you so, see check this out check this you out got the sofa which is literally hang on, oh, that way and then you go straight to the bench <laughs> <laughs> and, there's the big, and there's the big rogue plates as well. Check them out. Everything we've got the rogue need. plates. We've got the TV, the trophies, Ideal. Oh, and God. the PlayStation 5. Which yes! Is obviously obviously yeah. the best thing. You've got absolutely everything. To, uh, lots of people are asking, right? We've actually had uh, James as I just, like, just sent me a message. You met your wife in the gym. How did, yeah, how did that I, did. I mean, surely... 
I mean, I'm not one to get too personal. We've only we've only just met, but did you chat up your wife in the gym? You or? Know, when people say you shouldn't perv in the gym, but let me just say, one in every hundred it worked. Oh, and I see. I see. Now, in fairness, I was training with one of my friends at the time, and right. I spotted Tanya on the other side of the gym, and I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> she's very strong, like I said before. Um, when she was... Uh, well, I'd say she was roughly around the 60, 65 kgs mark, and she was deadlifting like nearly 180 kilos. And that's like nearly triple body weight. And I I just, I hadn't seen anything like that for like, you know, in the area where I'm from. Yeah. And then just got chatting. And yeah, one thing led to another. And uh, yeah, now we're married. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> you know, do you know what the most romantic bit about that story is? The fact that you, you, you remembered the weights. I thought that was <laughs> all right. That is Friday done. Uh, well, I need to get this vlog edited and uploaded. Um, so yeah, it's been a busy day today with orders, plenty of orders there. So thank you very much for your support. Uh, wrote a blog post this morning as well. Started editing the vlog, and then I had a <laughs> I had a virtual meeting with uh, my international accounts manager for postage, and Brexit is a dick. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately, the prices of international shipping are going to have to increase. Um, to be honest, they, they cost a bit more than our, than I charge. I um, absorb some of the cost, but it's the prices increased for international shipping due to Brexit. So unfortunately, the prices are going to have to go up in the next few weeks. So yeah, that's a bit of a blow today uh, hearing that, but it just it needs to be done. So... Uh, yeah, so that will be happening in the next couple of weeks. But uh, yeah, this week's been good, man. There's been a lot of orders, been a lot of blog posts written, uh, videos uploaded to the YouTube channel, uh, broadcast as well. Uh, we've got another guest lined up for next week. And I think that's kind of it, man. I think that's kind of it. Uh, managed to edit some photos as well, actually, on Wednesday, which was good. I'll get back in the swing of that. So yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to scoot just now. I need to edit this vlog. I am running a, bit, a wee bit later than usual, uh, just for having that meeting. So yeah, going to go just now and uh, get the vlog uploaded and ready for you to watch. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for your support. Uh, I say it every time, but I really do appreciate you taking uh, 20 minutes, half an hour of your day to watch this. It does mean a lot to me. Um, so yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. I uh, hope you're enjoying the journey so far. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next week. But anyway, I'm going to go just now. Thank you for your support. Stay safe, look after yourself, and I shall see you next week. Catch you later.